Hello everyone. Good morning to you and welcome to another session. In this video we shall be doing the technical analysis on the JP USD. And this is going to be a follow-up to my previous analysis on this pair where we were really not in that position to take in any significant profit during the course of last week trading session considering the fact that price action was caught within a huge consolidation phase around the 1.2200 level and in fact we had um, a series of ups and downs in the daily commentaries here uh, we had some buy position. We were taken out of those buy position at um, small profits or probably break even at worst case scenario. Then we had another selling opportunity here, which also went into back to our entry points, taking us out of that position again. And then the same thing happened here also on, the, on January 10. We also had another sell position right below the 1.21700 level. We saw that opportunity we had another position below the 1.21500 but as soon as price got into the 1.21250 we started seeing buy pressure coming in again to take us out of that position with some small profit as well then we also had another selling position below the 1.217 again on january 11th we had another position below the 1.21250 and as soon as we saw the retest of the 1.21 level buyers came in one more time taking us out with some small position so it wasn't really a, um, rosy for us on the gpus the last week it was just about hops and downs and at the end of the day we really did have something significant but if you would want to see how we went how last week's trading activities went by i will be dropping the link to these daily commentaries right in the description box of this current video so let's just dive right into the current structure here and let's see if the market will be presenting us with a um, good trading opportunity as we head into the new week. Well, on the daily time frame here, I will just go through what has been happening here since the month of October. And for those who would like to see how we got to this point, how we were able to identify this current structure, I think I discussed that in full details in my previous analysis on this pair. So if you want to see that, I will be linking you to that commentary right at the top right hand side of your screen. If you are watching from my YouTube channel and if you are watching on Trading View, you will see the link to that video in the comment section of this current video. So with that being said, let's dive into the chat here and let's zoom into the current structure that we have here. Now, um, what we are going to be looking at is from the month of October here. And if you look at this current structure here, we see that um, price has been finding higher highs and higher lows. And as a result of this, we have this bullish trend line figured out at this point. Now, if you remember in our previous video, we had this structure around the 1.200 level, which we said shall be guiding our trading activity for this year that if price breaks down that structure, we'll look out for selling opportunities. And if price action continues to trade above that level, we will definitely be looking out for buying opportunities. And another thing we said about this structure is the fact that it shares a beautiful confluence with that bullish trend line that you can see here. And one thing we have noticed since the beginning of the year is the fact that as soon as price got into this level, we have been witnessing some buy pressure coming from that structure to emphasize some level of strength for the buyers at this particular point in time. However, during the course of last week's trading session, we saw this huge consolidation phase between the 1.20. Is it 1.20? Okay, I think 1.2100 level and the 1.22500 area and which made the situation so choppy that we really didn't have any significant move for last week. So as a result of this, I was able to identify this 1.22500 level as that structure here has been rejecting all bullish momentum at a particular point in time. 
So as we head into the new week, I want to be looking out for a breakout of the 1.2 to 50 to give me an opportunity to buy. That's if price breaks out of that structure. But if we continue to see selling pressure below this level, I'm not sure if we sh it's going to be right for us to be selling at that point unless we see a breakdown of the bullish trend line, which also shares a confluence with the 1.200 level to give us a sign that sellers are likely coming in here. And if, if this is followed by selling pressure below the structure, it will be a very beautiful confirmation to either add more position to our existing trade. Now, before I go into the lower time frame where we are going to be looking at uh, how price action has been reacting to the structure, and at the same time, I was able to identify a simple setup which we can use to guide our trading activity for this week. Before we go into that, I would like to um, go into the economic calendar as we have um, major macroeconomic events that we will be looking forward to to serve as a catalyst and at the same time bring some liquidity into the market to drive price movement. Now, if we look at the economic calendar here, on Tuesday, we have the claim and count change for the GBP and the previous data is 30,500. So we don't know what is going to be happening next. Uh, we really don't have a consensus yet. So probably on Monday, we shall be having a data to compare and see how participants in this market will be anticipating this event. Then on that same day, we have the high LHO unemployment rate also coming up. So we can see the consensus here says 3.7%, which is the same as the previous data. So there is um, this expectation that things will not really, there will not really be a change in this one. So let's see what happens during the week. Then on Wednesday, we have the consumer price index for the pounds also coming up that day. And things are not looking very good considering the consensus here. And then on that same day, we have the USD retail sales coming up also as well. So these are the major events we are going to be looking forward to for this week. And definitely participants in this market will be anticipating this event. And we shall be seeing the reflection of this anticipation on the charts as price action. And in fact, during the course of last week's trading session, we have been witnessing some sort of indecision in this market as participants are likely looking forward to a catalyst that will be driving price movement. And we have been seeing this in the form of this consolidation phase that we have here. So at this point, we want to be scaling down to the lower time frame where I said I was able to identify a setup which we can use to guide trading activity for this week. Now, right here, we are on the four hours time frame, and this is what I was able to identify here. And this is how price action started the year. We saw how the 1.2100 level had been a strong selling niche for participants in this market. So this is where price started this year. So we saw this bearish momentum that pushed price into the 1.18500 level before we saw this bullish move that started on the last day on the last Friday of the first week of this year. And so following this impulsive move now, we saw our price broke out of that 1.2100 level. That was the first time in a month, I guess, I think in three, four weeks, that was the first time we saw the breakout of that structure. And since the breakout of that structure, you can see here how price action has been caught within a choppy situation uh, giving us a consolidation phase between the 1.22500 level and the 1.2100 area. So price action is up right above the 1.2100 level, a level which has been a strong selling niche for participants in this market in the past. And with a breakout of that structure followed by buying pressure right above that level, it's a very beautiful sign that price action has a tendency of climbing and finding higher highs. However, the continued selling pressure we have been witnessing around the 1.22500 level is a concern that we need to also take into consideration while trying to take advantage of any trading opportunity here. Now, in addition to that also, the buy pressure above the 1.21100 level is also a good sign that buyers are still very strong in this market. As you can see here, we saw this sharp rejection. Look at the nature of the wick of these candles. 
you can see that we have sharp rejections of this level. So at this point in time, the breakout of the 1.2 and 650, uh, which is the breakout of the trend line here that we were using to guide bearish momentum last week, is also another beautiful sign that bullish momentum is coming in. Now, going into the new week, what I will, be, I will be looking forward to to join any bullish momentum here is to see price do a breakout of the 1.22500 level. I want to see an outright breakout of that structure where price action takes out all the sell positions here to give me a good confirmation that buyers are strong at this point. And if we start seeing a retest of structure, with buy pressure above this level on our lower time frame, it will be a good opportunity to add more position to our existing trade. And talking about buying the JP USD, there is a tendency, there is a possibility that price will do a sharp rejection of this trend line here. Uh, this is the bearish trend line that was holding selling pressure last week before we saw the breakout of that structure here. And from a technical standpoint, whenever we have a breakout of a structure like this, we expect that one point in time price is likely going to come back, do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum. So talking about buying the GPUSD, we might likely see a situation where price comes into the trend line to do a sharp rejection of that level before another wave of bullish momentum happens. So if that happens also, we shall be looking out for structure around there that will be supporting a bullish momentum from that level. Now, if I am going to be thinking of selling the GPUSD next week, I would rather see a breakdown of the 1.2100 level, an outright breakdown of that structure, taking out all the buy position here that has been negating all selling pressure from that level. And if you remember vividly, prior to the beginning of the year, we saw that this level here has been a strong selling niche for participants in this market. So if price action breaks down the structure, and followed by selling pressures on our lower time frame below this level, then I want to be seeing this as a good opportunity to sell the JPUSD. But be rest assured that I will be jumping right in the comment section of this video to give you an update on what my expectation will be like for this week after monitoring how participants in this market will be reacting to this current structure. I hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision for the JPUSD this week. And if it did, I will be grateful that you click the like button to support this project. And at the same time, by clicking the like button, it helps the algorithm to push this video to as many view views as possible. You would also want to follow me on my trading view platform at DarkSherry, spelled D-A-R-C-S-H-E-R-R-Y, so that you don't miss out on the regular updates I normally share in the comment section of all of my videos. Thank you for watching once again, and do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.